a big orange balloon in the sky. That's what drivers and residents in north central Fresno spotted recently above the Fresno State campus. Was it kids playing with a great helium field toy? No, it was a team of faculty and student researchers conducting sophisticated data recordings that eventually will help to give us cleaner air in Fresno and the whole San Joaquin Valley. We caught up with Fresno State chemistry professor Alam Hassan, who is leading the investigation into air emissions around dairies, and asked him about the big balloon that looks like a toy. It may look like a toy, but I can assure you it's much more expensive than a toy. Um, we're using this as a platform to collect air samples to try and understand more about how agricultural facilities, dairy operations affect uh, air quality in the region. So we're using the balloon to collect samples and then we analyze the samples and try to understand the chemistry involved and what's going on in the atmosphere. With funding support from California State University's Agricultural Research Institute, Fresno State faculty and specially trained staff technicians have been studying air emissions around dairies for several years now, seeking to better understand the source of emissions that may contribute to ozone. The dairy industry has been more closely scrutinized than other industries in recent years simply because air quality officials don't know precisely what might be the sources of methane or other reactive organic gases which contribute to air pollution. Fresno State professor Charles Crowder led initial investigations into the issue in 2003 upon learning that dairy emissions data used by the California Air Resources Board was seriously outdated. About five years ago, uh, we applied for Agricultural Research Initiative funding, which matches uh, funding that's already in place. The research has blossomed into a partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which is joined in support of the latest research and air sampling that took place recently on the Fresno State campus. The USDA is interested in just because we don't understand much about emissions from animal feeding operations. There's not a lot of information out there. It's, um, it's, a very, it's a, just an unknown. Some of the research will be used to develop emission inventories for dairies in the San Joaquin Valley. Um, some of this information will be used to understand reaction mechanisms of these um, compounds which are emitted from dairy operations. Assisting in the technical aspects of the research is Assistant Geography Professor Shagan Ogunjamayo, who has supervised a team of more than a dozen students in developing and implementing air sampling techniques. Here you see a tower which has all the meteorological instruments, taking measurements at different heights. Then in the trailer, you have uh, some gas analyzers that are used to measure VOC. This is volatile organic compounds. Then we also have a balloon. <clears throat> the balloon is used to measure the vertical profile of uh, ozone, VOC, and uh, meteorological variables. So what this balloon does is it gives us the advantage or the opportunity to measure the profile with height. For about 10 days in early August, the team put in some long days, raising the balloon to altitudes of several hundred feet and using vacuum canisters to take samples at different times of the day. We're usually here by 5.30 in the morning, then leave at about 7 p.m. For this experiment, we have a FAA waiver to fly the balloon up to 500 feet. According to Professor Hassan, Fresno State students at both the graduate and undergraduate levels have played an important role in the project. And we're involving students from across multiple colleges. We have engineers and scientists and social scientists and uh, agricultural scientists. Uh, we're giving students the opportunity to go out and work at USDA and get some experience there. So it's really having a, a beneficial effect on the university and ultimately the region. We're looking at 30 plus students who will be positively impacted by this. What specifically are the students learning in this project? Well, they're learning scientific uh, techniques, um, how to approach a scientific problem. So very general skills, but also very specific skills in terms of how to do field sampling, collect samples, analytical techniques, things that will be helpful both in the agricultural industry and beyond that. The students seem to agree. In fact, even before this recent round of data collection, some already have gained some expertise in research methods and applications of new technologies. I got involved many years ago working with Dr. Hassam in the research lab, just starting as a volunteer. Um, and then we got this USDA grant that allows students to be working on air quality measurements and air quality in San Joaquin Valley. Student Stacy Brown took a big step to get involved in air emissions research through the encouragement of one of her professors. 
I got involved with, uh, through my professor. He uh, wanted to get me some experience because I was just working at like a restaurant. So this is my first step, uh, getting some experience in the field, which I needed. Research often involves a lot of hours doing repetitive tasks like setting up equipment, collecting data, recording, and waiting. It's all a necessary part of the process. I helped hook up equipment to the balloon. I'm working with Dr. Ogan Jimio, and uh, we help hook up equipment and carry equipment, carry the balloon, get everything out here, and just basically be there whenever he needs us. For Stacy, there will be a payoff. I would like to attend graduate school after um, I get my degree, which this will help a lot, the research experience, especially since I'm an undergrad doing this. And I kind of want to help do like maybe air sampling with the forestry. That's what I'd really like to do. The constant movement of air across land and sea makes air emissions research extremely complex. That's why partnerships among different academic disciplines, such as chemistry and geography, are really necessary to help scientists first understand what affects our air quality and then make recommendations on what we can do to help improve it. Every department that's involved has its own role. So if you kind of puzzle in all the pieces, you kind of get this big picture of um, how we're measuring our air. Now we have this dairy that's here, but we don't know what's actually emitted and how that affects our air quality. So all of the roles of uh, the, the geography department, the chemistry department, the USDA have an uh, interesting take in it so that we can understand what is emitted into our atmosphere and how that affects our air quality in Central Valley.